Good day, neighbor. Today, I am excited to show you guys a new series of videos I'm gonna be doing on the channel for the next little bit. This series is gonna be called The Hardware Habit Vault. Within this, there's gonna be a good handful of videos that I had filmed years ago when we first started this channel that never got finished. As a handful of you might know, this channel used to have two other collaborators, that being Freddie and Jake. They are no longer a part of this channel and it's just me. So these videos are gonna be showing a couple of these older projects and older activities that we had done that I want to release still. It's been really fun getting to go back through a bunch of this old footage and just relive some old memories and seeing how much I've grown in the last few years and how I've also learned how to trim my beard and just look a bit more respectable. You'll see what I mean in this video. I look like a freaking caveman. What I'll be sharing with you guys in this first episode is about three years ago when the Cache Valley Off-Road group on Facebook got together and we all went out and practiced some recoveries in the snow. Let's get right into it. It's gonna be soupy today. I'm filming you filming me. I guess I'm stuck right here now. <laughs> have any problems yet? Nope. I don't have problems because I drive a Toyota. So he just says it's steeper than it looks and he did that not on purpose. Jeep guys. He's got it. What did you do? Well, I, I was sitting too high and I tried to get a lower center of gravity by digging in. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I didn't want it, because I don't want it, because yeah, you see the angle? Really you don't want it to tip yeah, over. Yeah, so I wanted a lower center of gravity right there. So okay. Okay. <laughs> and what did you do over there? Uh, you know, I just uh, went in doubt, throttled out. <laughs> hey, that's my oh, but you did get it out, right? <laughs> nice. What angle you want me at? You want me to back up to you kind of right here and try to peck you that way? Uh, yeah, whatever yeah, works. All the way down. You might have to put another one on there. Okay. We got Aaron putting his tundra up here now. <laughs> so here's the aftermath of somebody else. Looks like they probably got stuck and then had no friends. So yeah, I'd say pretty stuck. That's well, going surprisingly well considering we're not anchored to the tree or anything. So what we have come to find out 
is that up there he is actually just really stuck at this point so nobody else can get back up to him now where's an overlanding guy with traction boards when you need them Yeah, I dig them too. It's been about 30 minutes now since they first got stuck. So it moved, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 feet, still stuck. So I guess that's what we're dealing with today. But good thing that they're getting some practice in. That's great. I've always thought Jeep guys are just hilarious. I thought the philosophy of being a Jeep guy, they're like, oh, my stuff breaks and I get stuck and I break stuff. I always thought that was really goofy. But you know what? I think I get it now. It's really fun. Breaking stuff maybe not be quite so fun. But we're out here getting stuck for fun. So yeah, maybe Jeep guys aren't that bad. Not as bad as those Toyota guys. Hey, Toyota guys are alright. <laughs> XJ's out. Now everybody's got to turn around so we can head up. I wonder if Colby's waiting for me to turn around. How's the side-by-side -side doing? Good. Nice. How'd I know? It's like it's built for that or something. Oh, no. Thunder down. Yep. All right, here's me back in the whole way down this trail now, because apparently I can only go backwards. Ah, <laughs> now he's stuck. What an idiot. What an idiot. What an idiot. What are you doing up here? Let's see what pushing you forward will do. And I was doing so good until uh, until I came across this red fire truck. This red tundra that got stuck. This red fire truck just sitting in the middle of the trail. And if you see down there, Aaron's smart and he's leaving. Driver, driver, driver. Straight, no driver. Only a little paint damage. Let's see if I can back out without my camera falling down. That's a lot of freaking paint damage. They're gonna take my phone with me. Guess I'm stuck. Hey, here's Colby. He'll rescue me. Ready? I'm ready, Freddy. We took out the entire tree. <laughs> Man, that's a little Jeep that could. I 
came right out. I yell at Josh as he's pulling up here. Don't go there, you're gonna get stuck. And guess who's stuck right here? I think I can't hear you, can you hear you from a mile away. Right. Not too bad. Was wave bye to Josh. Bye Josh, thanks bye. for coming. Bye Colby. Ha <laughs> ha, Tyler's stuck. Well, let's see what my Walmart tow rope can do. Oh, hey guys. Hey, what's up? Man, you should have came down in front of me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see what the Walmart recovery rope does. If that doesn't work, good thing you've got your Yankos. We'll see what a little gas will do. Like a banjo string. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I better get it. <laughs> I'll go grab that. See, I'm just having Colby do all the hard work. <laughs> All right, so that was another successful recovery for today. Good thing we're just out here having fun and that's what we came here to do because otherwise I think people would be in a difference, a different sort of spirits. The other fellas, we're all making it. Oh, nice. Another successful recovery today. Yeah, we're getting good at this. So I'll call Matt's out for a recovery. Yeah. He's got some competition in Utah. Yeah, Northern Utah. Or if he's looking for extra help. Where well, apparently we're pretty good at it too. Is that a dog? That's a, oh no, don't do it. No. That's gonna be a wrap for the first video in this Hardware Habit Vault series. I should have a few more that are coming out. I don't know a time frame on them. I'll just do them when I feel like doing them. That's all we got for this one. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.